Uh, thank you. I, I want to spend a minute with you You're talking about reviewing certain. Um, there's a regulation called the Renewable Fuel Standards. You know, it's a pretty controversial thing. Uh, <clears throat> but what's getting ready to happen in our country is all our refiners are going to go broke because mileage is going up. That We've now seen fuel credits become a market-traded item. So what we're going to see is two refineries in Oklahoma close within a year, year and a half, because they cannot afford to buy the renewable fuel credits. So we've got a regulation out there that's actually going to kill our ability to provide gasoline to the country, even with an ethanol blend, but yet we're going to lose thousands and thousands and thousands of jobs because we haven't adjusted that or given a waiver to it and we've allowed a market because they see a shortage of those credits now to bid the price up. So, so for example, we have two refineries in Oklahoma that within a year, because they, they're losing $20, $30 million a year now, not on processing gasoline, on buying renewable fuel credits because they're just refiners. They're not fully integrated down to where they have a retail thing. So what's going to happen is we're going to be losing jobs, losing refineries, which we've not built a new refinery in this country in years. Uh, and these are small refineries, but yet they employ a lot of people and have a great job. And then we're going to end up with a higher price. Now, some in the pro-environmental community would love to see that. Uh, but what are, we going to, what are we going to supply transportation with in this country? when we run the refineries out of business. We don't have an electric vehicle. Uh, you're still going to use some type of carbon-based fuel, but it, it, the disjointment of having this standard without adjusting it because we've issued regulations that now the marketplaces take because there's a shortage is bid up the price way high, and we haven't adjusted that to blow the bottom out of it. So th that's the kind of thing I'm worried about, the things that are in, that we have a regulation and we're not looking at it, we're not re-looking at it, and we've had hearings in the House this last week, there's gonna be hearings in the Senate, but the fact is, is all it would take is tomorrow to, to gut that speculation based on a government-created problem that's gonna kill jobs. It'd take one adjustment to that regulation by EPA and all that go away, and it won't make any difference in the long term in terms of our environmental consequences because we're still gonna have ethanol blended into our fuel but yet we've created a regulation that creates a problem that's going to eliminate jobs.